furry friend zone. Today we're going to show you how to do just a maintenance face clip at home. I always have complaints from people saying, oh, the face grew in so much faster than the rest of them. So people, <laughs> they take the scissors to their dogs like a little kid did it and they'll hack away at the face and sometimes dogs will come in and the bangs have been cut back to halfway up their head. So I'm just going to show you an easy way to trim around their eyes and just keep their face tidy so you can maybe um, prolong the groom a little bit longer. So what you do first is, now the dog's dirty so brushing out is harder but try and brush out as much as you can because if they're not brushed out trimming the face isn't going to it's not gonna be that even. So try and brush out as much as you can. Here, good boy. Yet the bar, good boy. Let's see. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be perfect because you're just doing this at home just to prolong the groom a bit. Because as you can see, like he, he can't see anything. So if this had happened, like say a month ago, it's probably he probably couldn't see a few weeks ago either, but COVID, we were all closed and there's a wait to get in now. So, so what I would do is try and brush as much of his head out as you can. Mainly it's just around the eyes and brush everything forward, including the beard. Take your scissors. I'm using, I think these are seven, seven inch, seven and a half inch curved shears. And you can use the round nosed shears as well. I have those too, but at home you might prefer those. And just trim right over the eyes. So there's a bang. But when you're brushing it forward, you'll notice that the bang's a lot longer. And then go right in between the eyes and go up in a V on either side. And then you could take a little bit off on their nose. Good boy. going on, eh? There you go. It's not going to look clean because he's not clean. But you just want him to be able to see for another week or two until you can get them to the groomer. You could also use um, waterless bath shampoo, which is, it, it will clean them without having to give them a full on bath. So that you could try that as well. I don't use that myself because I'm always bathing them. Like I refuse to groom a dog. Some people will say, oh, I don't want you to bath them, but I refuse to groom a dog that I'm not bathing because you can never ever get it even. And then you can just trim their beard a little bit just to make it even with their, so that it looks tidy. And again, this is not, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a, to keep you going through or tidy up. But at least you can see now. Right, buddy? But the key to this to make it so that it doesn't look like a kindergarten kid cut his bangs. Just brush them forward. And then just do like a nice tidy round bang. And then just go on an angle towards the ears. And that's really all there is to it. But look how much tidier his face looks and how much better he can see. And you can just keep snipping away at the beard. 
Thank you so much for watching this video on how to trim your dog's face in between grooms. Hopefully it helped and you can prolong your, um, your grooming a week or two and keep your dog all comfortable. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.